The next example we're going to look at is a taxi company charges $250 plus a dollar ten for every mile driven. This situation can be represented by the equation y equals $250 plus 1.10x where x stands for the number of miles and y stands for the profit made. If the taxi driver can drive no more than 300 miles a day, determine the domain and range for this problem. So the first thing we need to do is determine what our x value is in this problem. The x value stands for the number of miles. We have to decide if the number of miles is continuous or discrete data. So when you think about miles, you have to think about is it only whole numbers or could it be decimals? Is miles measured or is it counted? The answer to that question would be that miles are measured and can be decimals. So this is an example of continuous data. Since this is continuous data, we are going to use inequalities when we write our domain and our range. So we have to determine what the problem tells us about our domain, or how many miles we can go in a day. So I'm going back to the beginning of the problem. A taxi company charges $250 plus $1.10 for every mile driven. This situation is represented by the equation y equals 250 plus $1.10x, where x stands for miles and y stands for the profit made. If the taxi driver can drive no more than 300 miles a day, determine the domain and the range. So in this problem, it tells me the taxi driver can drive no more than 300 miles a day, which means the taxi driver could drive 0 miles, or he could drive up to 300 miles. Since this is continuous data, we use our inequalities. So I'm going to have 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 300, because he could drive 0 miles all the way to 300 miles in a day. To find the range, I'm going to use my equation that it gives me in the problem, which is y equals 250 plus $1.10x. To figure out my y value, I'm going to plug in my x value from my domain, which my first x value of my domain is 0, so I'm going to plug 0 in first. When I do that, I get 250. So the lowest y value that I have is um, for my range is going to be 250. To find the highest value of my range, I'm going to plug 300 in. So I'm going to have 250 plus $1.10 times 300. When you work this out, you should $332.50. So when I write my range, my range is in inequality because this is continuous data. So my lowest y value is 250, is less than or equal to y, is less than or equal to my highest y value, which is 332.50. So that should be my range. Example 5 says, you have four quarts of paint to paint the trim on your house. Each quart of paint covers 100 square feet. The function A equals 100Q represents the area, A is area in square feet, that covers Q quarts of paint. What is a reasonable domain and range for this situation? So the first thing I have to do is determine my x value to determine if this is a continuous or discrete data. So to do that, I'm going to read my problem and I'm going to look. I don't have an x and a y this time. I have an a and a q. q is going to be my x value and a is going to be my y value because whatever x I put in, I'm going to get how much area I can cover out. So even though we use q, q is going to be my x value, which is my quarts of paint. So I have to think about quarts of paint. Are quarts measured or counted? Or another way to look at it is, can I have, do quarts only come in whole numbers or could I have like 1.2 quarts? The answer to that question would be that quarts are measured and they can be a decimal. So my data is going to be continuous. Since this is continuous data, when we write our domain and range, we're going to use our inequality notation. So I have to figure out what it tells me about my quarts how many quarts I have in the problem. So I'm going to back, go back and reread. It says you have three quarts of paint to paint the trim on your house. Right there it tells me how many quarts of paint I have. I ha have at most three quarts of paint. I could have zero quarts, I could have one quart, I could have two quarts, or I could have three quarts. So when I do this, when I write my domain, it's continuous. So I'm going to start with zero, less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to three. 
To find my range, I'm going to use my equation that's given in my problem, which is A equals 100Q. For Q, I'm going to plug in my domain, because we talked about Q is your X value. So I'm going to have 100 times 0, which is 0. Then I'm going to plug in my other range, domain value, which is 3. 100 times 3 is 300, so my range it goes from 0 to 300. Since this is a continuous function, you're going to use your inequality notation. So I'm going to have 0 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 300. I would like you to try the next two examples on your own. So remember, first look to see if it's continuous or discrete data because that tells you how to write your domain and your range. Then go back and look and see what it tells you about your domain. After you find your domain, plug your values in to find your range or your y values.